Hello, it's the time of the month again. We are doing something something new here. I will summarize the story or explain the story of Child's Place 1. Will I do all the Chucky movies? Will I do all the Chucky movies in the TV show? Eventually, these videos take a long time to edit and things like that. Shall we begin this review? So the movie begins sort of... So the, the movie begins... With Charles E. Ray and Detect Doris. Well, Charles E. Ray trying to run away from... If you watch the Chucky TV show... Tiffany called the police on Charles E. Ray. With, you know... She, you know, she tickly... Definitely like, oh, you cheated on me with... No, we supposed to kill together as a couple. But Charles E. Don't, Charles e. Ray don't give a fuck about her. Savage, man. Anyways, Charles E. Ray... He got shot in the leg and... Being this toy, this toy store or Toys R Us place with Charles, and he dies from it and put his soul as the famous doll Chucky. And after that, you know, Chucky or Charles Ray put his soul to the doll. We focus our main character, Andy Barkley, one of a good main character. Honestly, one of the good badass. I honestly thank God they kept him as a main character. Like he do some badass things in the main in the TV show, like shit. Anyways, so it's Andy's birthday, right? Andy's birthday. Now he's turning six year old, but he turned on the TV. He really wanted a good day doll, but his mom don't have any money or things like that. She only she only bought the child's like the like the good guys like toy set, not the actual doll. And she met, she have a friend. We call her Aunt Maggie, one of the sickest, one of the fucking sickest kills in the whole franchise in the first movie. Anyways, you know she, the mom, bought a Chucky doll from this homeless man or whatever. So, turns out the toy, the turns out that she bought a doll, but Chucky still and Chucky still inside of that. But the whole rest of the movie is so one night Aunt Maggie, you know, she, you know, baby's hitting Andy while her mom is at work, and Chucky start act starting um to kill or doing whatever he kill Aunt Maggie, push her off in the window, the sickest kill ever in the first goddamn movie, but. Now the mom is like worrying about panicking, like how she did it. Like, no, like she people think, oh, she committed suicide or she trip or. But, I think Andy or the mom, I don't know who. Uh, yeah, the mom tracked down like fingerprint, not fingerprints, feet prints, like 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 flowers. Like mm, that's pretty small for a guy, but. Okay, after Aunt Maggie died, and, um. Annie's mom dropped her off or her son in school, but Chucky whispered to Andy's ears to go somewhere, meet up somebody. But someone explained to me why is no one fucking questioning a kid? It's middle of Chicago holding a doll in the middle of the train shack or whatever in the city right now. No one's curious about that. Like like people are like, where's your parents? Okay, anyway, I'm done rambling. <laughs> well, Chucky gave the address or Andy to go anywhere. But Andy meets his old friend, Andy Caputo. Yeah, that, that guy from the first, that guy from the opening. Um, he, and Andy had to go somewhere. He had to go pee. Um, when, when Chucky entered the Andy Caputo's house, or house, he shot a barrel, like, oh, not him, but it was Andy Caputo shot a barrel, and the whole house went to explode! So, Detective Mike Norris didn't pick up Chucky after, or not Chucky, Andy, God damn it, his fucking names are confusing. Anyways, he picked him up, asked him questions, why he's doing there, and now, the mom's now in... Everyone's curious about, oh, Chucky did it, Chucky did it, Chucky talk, Chucky talk, Chucky did it. But no one believed it, Andy with his dumb ass shit. Sorry, Andy. But Andy had to go to a facility 
Nah, but still, I mean, for children, I mean, that, I think it was okay. Let's call it a jail cell, but anyways. So the mom grabbed Chucky, take out the famous battery scene in the back, and Chucky revealed himself, came alive, and Chucky said, well, You one bitch, you bitch, honestly. Yeah. And the mom. Fight back, I mean, fight back Chucky a little bit, but and I mean, he runs away. The mom met up Mike Norrison again, and the mom explains to detective anything about uh, fighting Chucky in the apartment. And we got the coolest fucking Fast and Furious Chucky scene ever. You know, Chucky's um in the car, in the car, right in the car. I think after in after the car scene, I think. The mom asks the homeless man, "Why? Where do you get this doll at?" And they like, "No, no, man, I, no, man, I don't know." So after, okay, now we're in the car scene. The car scene, you know, Chucky's driving. You know, they almost, they almost injured, they almost damaged the two people. They almost Andy, the mom, and detective. After that, detective believed it. The mom, actually, Chucky's actually real because detective actually saw Chucky reveal himself being alive. And after that, we got Chucky's fourth kill or third kill in the movie. I don't know, man. He kills the voodoo man. He's like, oh, I put my soul in a freaking doll. Is he put me back as a human, Chucky said. But Chucky grabbed the voodoo doll and killed the voodoo man. And yeah, and the mom goes there. Yeah, the mom tried to investigate. Who are you? A freaking detective mom? Oh, my God. Yeah, after the bop, 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 bop. And Chucky. The Voodoo Man reveals, like, how to become a human is the name of your first reveal. And Chucky wins to Andy. And we got the fifth kill in the, the, fifth kill in the movie, right? And, he, you know, we have Andy and Chucky fighting each other in the jail self. And, yeah, Chucky. And Andy, is, he's a smart kid. It's like he's making his... Home Alone Traps in the jail stuff, right? So, yeah. Like, he knocks out Chucky a little bit, but Chucky kills the doctor or Dr. Morvin or something like that? I don't know, man. Yeah, after that, we 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 are leading to the last climax of the film. The last scene in the film. And, like, everyone's worried about, like, where's Andy? Where's Andy? Like, he's he from the jail stuff, right? Or the facility. Honestly, yeah. If you're a real Chucky fan, you know what I'm talking about. And Andy knows what his apartment is. Apparently, he knows his anything from a Chaco and from Chicago. You know, he met his mom again. You know, have a great, a great hug ending. But Chucky is so after Andy. And no, actually, yeah, because no, because Andy arrives there like he was. He's alone, right? He was alone at first. He was alone. And Andy trying to fight back Chucky and Andy give up giving you know Chucky get oh Dembala Dembala well he got interrupted by Mike Norris Mike Norris and my mom the mom and the mom's hugs Andy right and they're fighting and after that Chucky is fighting back the trio and he got burned alive in a freaking fireplace they shot him but shoot him in the heart shoot him in the heart shoot him in the heart and Chucky dies not be the first time if it's freaking like like nine goddamn content about this guy anyway I hope you enjoyed this video like explaining sort of explaining the story to you I know I stuttered a couple of times I, I I stutter a lot I sort of got like explaining shit and in doing that thank you for watching if you want more videos like this or something different like not like gaming related anyways i'm your host shadow pumpkin and see you punk gamers next time